Okay, hello. Today I'm going to be showing this board, which is a, a converter from RGB to HDMI with some capabilities from the USB that you can see here connected. Uh, now it's, uh, it's connected to an a, a 500 Amiga computer. And as you can see, is rendering from the Amiga. It's rendering the image. I can share information that is coming from the HDMI. Here you can see HDMI. And uh, the plan is to show some of the features and capabilities that this uh, board has. So let's start from the basics. Let's reset the, the board. As you can see here, it has the capabilities to show some overlays video overlays with information. We are going to be using that in the future. And as you can see, the image is a pretty solid. I mean, it's, it, it can, can be shown pretty, pretty OK. The, or the current resolution is 320 by 240. And uh, this is capturing directly from the RGB and rendering to the HDMI. The system has four buttons, as you can see there. Uh, one is, of course, the reset button. And sorry, and the other ones are. Here you go, and the other ones are for a other. It's planned for a, being using in menus in the overlay. But right now, if you press a one button, it will shift to the to the right, the other one to the left. If you uh, hit the, in the first button, it will uh, switch between up, uh, up, down versus left, right. So the idea is to move the image in the position that you see more fit. In the future, it's going to be supporting a auto, auto, yeah automatic uh, positioning on the screen. So one of the things that is uh, additional in the functionality is that if uh, you press the three buttons, uh, you are, uh, with that you are activating the USB. Be aware that once we activate the USB, you are going to be able to see some glitches, basically because the USB is interfering. I have to deal with some priorities that are related to the USB that are not as relevant as the, the scanning capabilities, which I have to give the higher uh, priorities. But the thing that is interesting is that with that, we can have some uh, kind of uh, functionality that uh, we, can, we can use. As an example, here, let me put this on top. And uh, if we send some commands to the to the system, let me see. Like, let's place version. The system will reply to the command. Basically, it's saying, "Hey, this is the version of the of the solution. You can move." And I let me just move it a little bit. This to reduced and be able to see the two things. Let me put it here. If I do something like up 10, you can see that it moves the image also down 20 or left 10. You can shift the image wherever you like. There are other commands such as a info, so you can make uh, uh, make it appearance of uh, of the information. Let me just uh, put it properly. Basically, uh, the idea is to show relevant information such as uh, the the refresh rate or, or something like that. Also, here is showing if the version the license of the system is is correct. I mean, is is valid. Also, something that is really nice is uh, you can. Uh, you can request the the key. Let me see, key was or ID. The ID of this system. 
because each device has a, a unique identification. Also, you can, and, and you're, you're going to see that you can capture the, the screen from the HDMI. Let me, uh, let me just first disable the information screen, false. And now let's put something more uh, interesting in, in, the, in the screen like this. And let's capture that. So once you're capturing, the, the, the scanning is going to be paused for a st a stability. Capture, clear this, capture, send. Okay, so what you saw is just a sequence of uh, integers numbers separated by, by comma. This is basically a, a CSV file. So the idea is just to check this CSV file and uh, put it into, into a, a, a document, a CSV document. And uh, with an utility that you can build in Python, I, I already built it, of course, you can uh, transform this into a, an image. So just to test. And uh, let me see. This should be here. Uh, not this one. Where is it? This one. Okay. And now if I just share this, this is what we capture. Just on the top. As you can see, it's the same as this. We can place something else on the screen, more relevant. Let me just reset, reset the system. And let's put this on the top. Okay, as you can see, now it's, it's rendering this. Let's, uh, let's press some buttons. Okay, it completed. Let's press some button to continue here we have the game let me just ouch place it here and yeah fire one player okay and the, here you can see let's capture this screen let's see what has happened uh, I'm about to be eaten, and here we go. Let's clear this. Let's put this on the top, and let's make a capture. Capture. And there you go. Let's copy this. Here. And move it into the Python application. There you go. And now I have 
the converted image and I can share it. Let me show a sec. Here. Where is it? Here. Sorry. Okay, here. And let's place it on the top so we can see it. Where is it? Here. This one. And here you can see, sorry, this one. This is what we just captured. As you can see, the, the colors are similar to the original. And that's pretty much it. So you have an RGB to HDMI with USB capabilities. Uh, the plan is to have a document to share all the capabilities and this is uh, going to be this is right now available as an alpha and uh, we are going to be continue adding functionalities in the future and that's it thanks <laughs>